We can pray today that Simeon will teach Sheila something. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can learn a lot from them, can't you? Yeah, from the mouths of babes. <laughs> uh, great to have y'all here. Nice to see you back. Thank you. It's great Welcome. to be back. Great to be back. And uh, Brian and Bethany, good to see y'all with all of the kids. Josiah and Brian, did you develop an accent while you were gone? <laughs> uh, I hear the trip was a success again. Oh, my. Good trip. Praise the Lord. We pray that you're we're pleased, very Pleased that you're safe. Yeah. With all the issues that have happened down in what the Dominican Republic. They were down there the first part of June? Uh, June 17th to 24th. Okay, about a month ago. Yeah. Yeah. So it was overall a good experience? Yeah. Very oh. hot. It was hot for even there. Really? So we sweated off a few pounds, that's for sure. That's good. Oh, I'll tell you what. We don't realize how blessed we are here in America, do we? Later on, I'll be getting with you, and we'll set up a time so you can talk about, once again, your experience there. And um, It is. It's a different world down there. I know I was talking with your dad, Brian, yesterday, and he was telling me about, you know, what life is like for those people down there. Even the things that we take for granted food. Right. Um, it really should make us very grateful for the blessings that we have. So, good to see all of you here today. Thanks for coming to the Lord's house. Before I get into the message, I do want to have prayer. Um, Looking at the bulletin, I'll just comment on several. Susie Party, first one on our list, she will start her chemo treatments again on Tuesday. She's been doing well, so pray that that goes well. Mary's sister Eleanor LaRue this week will go to find out about this spot on her lungs, so we pray that that's going to come back good. John Dillon, this is uh, Miss Bessie's cousin, is not doing well. He really needs our prayer. Kathy Jackson, she's not here this morning. She had a heart catheterization this past week, and she got good news. Doesn't need any stents. Didn't need any bypass. She does have about a 50% blockage, but they think they can control that with medicine. So, anything you wanted to say, Donnie? Oh, uh, being the Lord, uh, nice wife that she is, she shared her cold with me. <laughs> That's why she's not here. Um, but yeah, I answered a prayer because uh, we were looking for the worst with her history. And uh, yeah. When she gave you the call, did she tell you the other part? It is more blessed to give than to receive. <laughs> okay. Um, anyhow, we pray that she's going to be okay. Uh, Mary Conaway, continue to pray for her. She's doing well. She got her car back. She's happy about that. We're thankful. Greg Whippy continues to need our prayers with this multiple myeloma. Uh, Barbara Melto is not doing well. She needs our prayers. In the middle column, my mom is continuing to do very well. Very thankful for that. Wayne Kemp. I understand, Darlene, that the use of his left side is getting worse. Well, I know it's getting worse. They, they said he's uh, the left side of the brain, he's not using that. But he's starting to use his hand more to eat and to pick up things. But they got him back to first grade. He can't remember his ABCs. And that's what they're working on, getting him to write them, which is very upsetting to him. And he did have that brain bleed, and I think that part of this may be due to the blood that's still up there hasn't been absorbed. I know that my mom, she had that spot on her brain, and as that absorbed back into her sister, her mind cleared up. So I pray the same thing will happen with him. Well, Would Tuesday, you like to? Tuesday we go to get an order to get another CAT scan to see if it's still dried up or if there's more coming out. Okay, so there was still maybe a leak there. So continue to pray for him. Would you like to give us an update on Bucky as well? They did get him up on his feet. His surgery went successful on Wednesday, and uh, they removed all of the old hardware. He's got an incision about six or seven inches long. He also had a herniated disc. They removed all the substance from that disc that had leaked out, and he was up on his feet the next day. Is he still in Trinity, or did they move him over? He's now back down. To back to Carriage House. He's in good spirits, and he's doing the need exercise and all the therapy. Well, we do appreciate the prayers and thankful that the surgery went well. Uh, Judd Gray, who's in the middle of the second column, is not doing well. He continues to need our prayers. 
In the last column, Jenny Woodcock, she's about a third of the way down. She's battling cancer and spread to her liver, and we pray that she's going to be okay. Um, some names that I need to give to you. Uh, first is a praise, little Darby Moore. Chuck and Bessie's little great-grandson, and his tonsils removed. He's doing well. We praise the Lord for that. There are a lot of people traveling, so we need to pray for those that are on the road either on the road or the skies or on the seas. Lord, keep them safe. Uh, Lisa Webster, April's mom, broke her leg, the tibia, two places. So we pray that that's that correct? Uh, just a Straight up and down? Yeah. It's vertical. It's a vertical break. Okay. But it's two two streaks or not? Uh, no, just one. Just one. Okay. All right. Susie Bedore, Chuck and Bessie's neighbor. She's been battling cancer, and they've shaved her head, so we pray that she's going to be okay. And then Betty Trickett, she's, been, she's had a blood clot in her leg, and it's still not totally gone, so we pray that that's going to be okay. Are there any additional names or needs? Hank? Yeah, I was supposed to be operating on last week, and they put it off until the 30th, so I thought I was <clears throat> get the bladder thing, so I'm hoping they get, they said they might be able to find a place, but been waiting almost six weeks for it, so okay. I'll be glad it's done. All yeah, and that's on the 30th, right? Yeah, okay. Can you get that done over Little Washington? Yeah, okay. We pray that that goes well. Any additional ones? Uh, Tim, Tony. Uh, Tom Cooper, he's a retired Warden PD guy. He plays golf with me. Mm -hmm. We played Wednesday. He kept sitting down, he complained of dizziness. Uh, they took him in for a heart cap uh, Thursday morning also. They, they can't figure out what's going on with him. And Joe Lilly, uh, another friend of mine I played golf with, he uh, complained about his back hurt and being sick. <coughs> he went up to Allegheny. They gave him six to eight weeks. He, he went up, his back was aching, and they told him he had six to eight weeks. Did you tell me it's leukemia? Uh, it's yeah, very aggressive. aggressive. Very aggressive leukemia. So Joe Lilly needs our prayers. So. You okay, Robin? Battling the allergies? Something. Okay. All right. Well, let's pray together. Father, it is good to be back. I missed being here last week. <coughs> thank you for taking care of the congregation. I thank you for using Brother Jack. And pray, Father, your continued blessing upon our church. That, Father, you will continue to watch over us and meet our needs. We owe everything to you. We have our health and life and breath simply because of your goodness. And we acknowledge that. We just pray, Father, that you might continue to sustain us and meet our needs. And help us to use what you've given us to be a blessing to others and point others to you. We come before you again this morning, Father, grateful for what you've done, and I know that there's a lot of things that we could praise the Lord for, and Chuck and Bessie, grateful little Darby was able to get those tonsils out and seems to be healing well. Father, thankful that Bucky came through his surgery well, and he's, it relieved the pain, which is what we were most concerned about. But Father, there are a lot of other needs here in our bulletin, and Father, we're looking to you and asking that you'll meet them. Help Susie as she begins this chemo, that it won't make her sick, and pray that she can get stronger, and that this this tumor would end up going away. Please bless her. Pray for Eleanor LaRue. She'll get good news on her lung this week that it'll turn out to be okay. We pray for John Dillon, who's really not doing well, and ask you, Lord, to be near him and his family. Continue to bless Kathy Jackson. We're grateful for the good news with her heart catheterization. We just pray that you help her get over the cold, and if Donnie has one too, we pray that you help her to clear up. Continue to be with Mary Conaway, grateful that her car is back, and pray that you'll continue to help her as she tries to Pull things together within our life after losing Paul. We ask your blessing upon Greg Whitkey, Lord, that you will help this multiple myeloma to go into remission. The Father, you please bless him and touch him. Barbara Melto is not doing well, Lord. We ask your blessing upon this lady that you'll meet her needs. Thank you for what you've done for my mom. Continue to bless her and help her, Father, to continue to get stronger. Thank you again. Bless Wayne Kemp. Help this memory issue to get cleared up. We just pray, Father, that the left side will get stronger and that, Father, he'll soon be able to get back to doing stuff that he enjoys. Minister to Judge Graves' needs, Lord, he's just got a lot of physical problems. Be near him. And Lord, be your will that you touch and make him well. Continue to bless Bucky, Father, that he will continue to heal. Thank you for relieving him of the pain. And just pray, Father, that he can get back home soon. 
We pray for Jenny Woodcock, who's battling cancer, and we ask you, Lord, to once again put this into remission. Encourage her heart, Father, and help her not to give up, but to look up and know that you are there. Thank you again for what you've done for Miss Bessie. Grateful, Father, for how well she's doing. Pray your continued blessing. We ask, Lord, your blessing upon those that are traveling, that you would keep them safe. We pray, Father, that you'll be with Kalisa Webster as this break in her leg heals up. We pray that there won't be any complications, that you'll ease any pain and discomfort. We pray for uh, Susie Bedour, who's battling cancer. Lord, that you'll help her to overcome that. For Betty Trickett, that this, this uh, blood clot that she has in her leg might go away. That Hank Benson, his surgery on July the 30th might go well, be successful. Continue to help him. Be with Tom Cooper, who's got these heart issues, Lord, that you will touch him and help him to get better. And then also for Joe Lilly, we ask you, Lord, to intervene and put this leukemia into remission. Please encourage his heart. Father, again, we just ask your blessing upon all the other needs that are printed on our bulletin and even the unspoken needs, that each need might be met according to your goodness and your will. Thank you again for what you do for us. Be with our leaders. Give them wisdom. Help our nation to turn back to you. Revive us, Father, as a people, your church. And, Father, may those that are lost see their need to get saved. Bless also, Father, our military and law enforcement. Keep them and their family safe. And Father, as we have a chance now to study your word, please teach us. Help us, Father, to bear your fruit, the fruit of your spirit within our lives. We love you and ask now your continued blessings upon all of these things. In Jesus' name, amen. Is actually going to come from the book of Philippians.